What's up guys? Uh, be sure and like and subscribe. It's Saturday. I'm out here. I picked up this Prairie Proje right here. And I know it's not a mini bike, but you know, I got to make some money around here and that mini bike's just costing me money at this point. So I'm going to show you guys what I do when I pick up a bike that hasn't been running for a while just to get her fired, get her running. That way when people ask me, I can just send them a link to the video and I ain't got to be private messaging somebody for two hours telling them to pull the spark plug and you know jump it off so look first things first turn your ignition on usually you're going to want to make sure you get a neutral light lots of stuff isn't going to start if you don't have a neutral light it won't spark we got nothing here no power to her so i'm going to put a jumper on it all right guys you can consider this step one if you want check it out jump pack on see how dim that neutral light is and when i turn the pack on it gets that much brighter so it's on now, okay? Pulling the brake. Still no start. Next thing I'm gonna do is make sure it's getting fuel. So you're gonna go here to your fuel pet cock, which is kind of hard to see on this thing. And we'll see how easily we can access it. It looks like some Jamoke has already been working on this. And like I said, I just got it yesterday. So I don't know what all's undone, except for all this hardware positively. It seems like this gas tank has no gas in it. So, usually what I'd tell you to do is go to this petcock, pull that line off, and see if you're getting gas. Which, as you can see, this thing's definitely not getting gas. So, let's see if we have to clean the carburetor. I'll put a little gas to it. So the way I like to do this, this bottle, little gas can was $4 online, on eBay or Amazon. And I just put a line and filter on it. So you go to the inlet of the carb, pull off the line, and I put this one on so I can funnel it some gas. This bottle up with this filter and long line for a reason, because this is about 3 16 and that is a quarter. So if it doesn't fit, then I just pull the filter off and I run it that way. So now I'm gonna put some gas in that. All right, so now the carb has gas getting to it, as you can see. So I don't know if it's getting in it or not, that we'll find out, but for now it's getting to it. So let's choke it. I was wanting to start, maybe a little gas. I know. Let's try choking it. Okay, let's see. It's got the fuel going to it. Let's pump a little into this accelerator. Now she's squirting. I bet you it starts now. A little gas. All right, now she'll run. All right, let's try plunging this. Now, usually what I would recommend would be to shoot a little starting fluid in your intake. If it fires up, it's probably not getting gas. This carburetor is gonna have to be clean. This was all taken apart, so I couldn't just put gas in the tank. That's why I did this. If you just had the tank there and you pulled this off and it was wasn't leaking out, you just put gas in the tank till it pisses out of here, put it back on the carb, and you know you're good. I like to check these things out like this before I waste all day giving them a tune-up. So I'll get them fired up and running first, and now I know it's worth cleaning the carburetor. So if you get all that done and she still ain't firing up, you're gonna go to your spark plug wire. You can see it right there. You pull that sucker out, you put a plug in it, you ground it, you turn the motor over, you make sure that she is throwing a spark, which I can show you guys in a little while, but we know this one's sparking because it started up. So I'm gonna take this old bolt drill and I'm gonna remove this carb. Basically, you got an intake and left hand is rough. Got this intake one, you got this one, you got a couple over here. Like you guys can see, this thing's running great. So if you want to see how I clean the carburetor, you can check at the end of this video. There'll be a link. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you a couple things real quick. Like I said, first thing, get the neutral light going, whether it's a jump or whatever. Don't throw your back out trying to pull start something that has a bad neutral safety switch or something. Second, put some power on the battery if it's dead. Third, make sure that sucker's getting gas. You just 
pull it all the stuff I did earlier is because I had to the fuel line was broke but you just pull the line off the tank make sure gas is coming out if it's not put more gas in it fiddle with the switch find out why it's not getting gas if it's getting gas try a little starting fluid if it still doesn't fire chances are it's not sparking so pull the plug ground it out make sure it's sparking if it is you're probably gonna have to go through that carburetor it may just need a new plug or maybe low on compression but if you have spark and fuel it should start up assuming you have compression so when it has spark and fuel and it doesn't start lots of times because it, it doesn't have compression those are just real easy things that i do to get them going when i go buy them if i have time while i'm there starting fluid's the easiest way you're gonna see how much smoke pours out that some bitch and it has upper cylinder lubricant in it so don't let people tell you it's gonna kill anything another thing you can do is just take gas pour it right on the air filter and fire it up but these are the basic steps on what to do. You've been leaving that four-wheel drive sitting. You let that cow or that Yamaha, anything that's carbureted sit, and it won't start up like you expected it to. Just follow these little steps. You'll get her firing, and then you'll know what to do from there. And if you need to see how to clean the carburetor, just, uh, you know, check on the page because i got a really detailed video I'm posting on cleaning that carburetor, and you can see it's running perfect, man. Those are really easy to service, and don't let you not knowing how to do it stop you know cost you five eight hundred bucks from kawasaki because honestly you can do it yourself really simply and then it'll just be out there eating